Hi everyone, uh, today's episode is not really a Disney Infinity tutorial, but more of a reminder of what you've got to do in 2017. As we're aware, uh, Disney, although they seem to make so much money, don't seem to know how to make it in Disney Infinity, have closed the studio and are not going to develop Disney Infinity 4. That is now ceased and that's not going to happen from them. Okay, but what they are going to do is they have been supporting the servers up till now and in March 2017 these servers are going to get switched off. And when these servers do get switched, some of the toys aren't going to work. Now, you have till March to download this. So if you do like playing Disney Infinity or you've just got it for Christmas, you need to go onto your menu and you need to go into community content and you need to go to Disney toy boxes. Okay, and in there you can download any of these levels and you can download these and these will stay permanently on your machine. So any levels that have been created by the community, grab them, download them if you like them. Once they're saved on your console, they will work even after the servers are switched off. Okay, but if you like creating like I do, then you need to go to the newest section. And you'll see those little tabs across. Keep going across to the newest one. And as you go across, yeah, you'll see here, newest level, you'll see one I, and my level that I created, which is called Toy Box Master Template. Now, I've done a clip to explain how this one works, and it's not been seen by that many people. And after March, you won't be able to download this, and you won't even be able to create it. So if you haven't done this before March, then sadly, you're not going to really have uh, be able to create any more new Toy Boxes or Store Box Adventures. So get this downloaded. It says only a thousand downloaded, but it actually says two thousand people in the emails that I've got have actually downloaded it on different consoles. So I highly recommend you get that done before the uh, before March. Okay. Now what I'm going to discuss in the rest of the video is where is the future going for Disney Infinity? What could happen? Okay, and what could not? But this is just my thoughts, and I thought I'd post this up and see what you all think. Now we all know that uh, Disney Infinity 4 is not going to happen. The studio has been closed down and the staff have moved on to other projects. But what I wanted to do here is if I post this on a clip, maybe some other studios will listen. Because I, I, I'm a PlayStation owner, I don't have an Xbox One. Uh, and the reason I don't have an Xbox One is I can't justify two consoles when there isn't much difference that I'm getting for an Xbox One. Okay, now some people may hate that, but there's a lot more exclusives with Sony's, right? I'm not trying to promote Sony's, but they just genuinely are. Okay, admittedly, yes, you've got Halo, you've got Rome, you've got... I'm struggling here. Encore, give me some others, right? Well, I can go to Uncharted, I can go New Order, I can go Ratchet and Clank, I can do uh, Spider-Man games coming out. Microsoft are lacking in that department. Now, Microsoft this year are going to release their new console called the Scorpion. Okay? What happens though, they've got this, it's going to be for the high end people, it's going to people expect money. There is no one developing games for families. There's just a huge market. There aren't any, they're all right. This game here is absolutely genius. Okay? So, what if Microsoft took over the development? and then released it as their sole exclusive. Now you don't have to do the toys to life. You can just do them as microtransactions as I mentioned in one of my other clips with the rant. And if you use microtransactions, I can tell you one thing, I would buy ships, vehicles, add-ons, you don't actually have to do the hardware to go with it. Yes, it'd be nice, but if they're too costly to make, then just keep the program going. The software was almost finished. Now I've heard of many other companies taking over programs when they were finished. One of those was um, Alien Game, uh, what's it, um, uh, Colonial Marine. Now admittedly it was a complete mishmash of a program, but we know that the Disney Infinity team were working on a solid product, it was almost there. So there must be some software just waiting for a team to take over, and I think this would be an opportunity for Microsoft to take it over. Uh, and have an exclusive program, A for the family ended, and it'll get parents and, uh, and families buying Xbox One because they can see it's a, a friendly game, it's a creative game. Now, on the other hand, being a Sony person, Sony have got nothing to show for E3. They're going to have to compete against uh, this new console they've got out. So why don't they do the opposite? Why don't they take over Disney Infinity, right? and have a, new, a game that the fans are going to want and have something to show, show that we've taken this over and we're going to support this. They had a big deal with, with uh, Disney Infinity in the past because they had uh, certain characters coming out before it came out on the other uh, console. 
But again, they could push for it. Or the Wii U, right? Or the Wii, or the Wii, um, I know uh, Nintendo have their own version of the game, but, uh, what's it, I don't forgot what it's called, but even so, they're lacking in games here. Someone can take over this project. Uh, and, worth, and the other company you've got, you've got EA. EA have got the Star Wars license. They can do all those particular options. So, I think there's a definitely a market for it. I don't think the Toys for Life is ever going to come back anymore. I think that's dead. But I think microtransactions will definitely work. And I think it could be a, a earnest, especially if there's a half-finished product out there. Um, so this is my last little ditch to try and chuck that in the pot. And hopefully someone who's got some knowledge with a programmer or some knowledge with the development team can dig this through. If not, any developers out there that see this clip, just mimic this and create your game. I would buy, I would buy a game that was identical to this, even if it didn't have the Star Wars characters or the themes. If I had soldiers I could use, marines I could pull into the options, monsters, dragons, dinosaurs, I have no problem if you create a similar game to this and I can call my own superheroes what I want. And so instead of Iron Man, you have Metal Man, yeah? I'd, I'd even do that. But if you're able to create the way this engine allows you to build your own games, yeah? I'm just hoping the development team will take that over. Now, I know Sony's got an exclusive thing coming out called Dreams, yeah? And that's some sort of development guide from the Gaming Media Monocle. So, uh, I'm going to keep an eye out on that one and see what that's like. Uh, we've also got Lego Worlds in February. Okay, so someone's missing, but everything I've seen of that so far is still single player. Yeah, nothing allows you to sit and as a family play a game like this that is just so much fun. Yeah, and it's genius. So I just my last ditch to hopefully see if someone can save this because I think there's a program that could still get out by the end of the year and you could have quite an audience. And you'll have a big thing. So hopefully E3 guy did lap and the show. Try and save uh, try and recreate Disney Infinity. Well that's it. Thanks Logan. I'll get back to my tutorials now and just get on developing this. Thanks for watching. Catch you later guys. Cheers.